All right, welcome everybody to the second day of Academy. We've got our boff wrap up and the boffs, I hope, have prepared short and succinct statements about what they've reached today. I'm going to start off with the XR desktop, the VR happenings. Does anyone want to tell us about VR? Christoph? Yo, hi. So I made the XR desktop BOF today. So in the first part, uh, we had some new people try out XR desktop who had not tried it out on the weekend yet. I got some early feedback from those users. Thank you very much. And in the second part, I started to go through some of the remaining issues that we have. And I also got some good feedback about how to solve them. Thank you very much, too. The second boff in that room was the J'ai compris boff run by Timothée, so... So for the J'ai compris boff, we were only four person, so it was very quiet. Uh, there were, first we discussed with Klaus about moving uh, the new documentation for J'ai compris for users to user base instead of our own wiki, and same for the contributor part to move it to community wiki. And then uh, with Aish, we worked on, or she started to work on new options for accessibility to make some activities usable for disabled people. And Aman helped for that. Um, that's all. Thank you, j'ai compris. <laughs> Moving on to the next room, U2O8B started the day with KDEV fundraising. Lays. Uh, hello. This morning we, we it was very productive. We were able to set some goals for our fundraising working group. Uh, we are keep pushing the Axiom people to get PayPal fixed, and then with that we will be able to do some planning for our future uh, related to fundraising campaigns and some promo campaigns together with the KD promo people to keep our uh, contributors. Uh, happy and up updated with the stuff, amazing stuff that we are doing. And thanks Lydia for trying to bring some consistency to the working groups. I like that a lot. So it's that. Thank you, Lays and the fundraisers. Uh, Elvis is right there. And, yeah, Elvis is in the house, but he's also the one BOF organizer who's written notes and linked them to the wiki. Everyone, remember, link your notes to the wiki. <laughs> but now you get to tell us about it. Yeah, so this was the first Dolphin BOF in a while, so that was nice. Uh, we talked about uh, a set of things. Uh, for instance, uh, we would like to adopt K user feedback, but uh, we need to figure out how. We would like to move to GitLab, and uh, we need to figure out when. Uh, and then uh, there was Alexander that talked about his uh, KIO Fuse project which was highly requested by users. That's almost finished. We need to we need to finish it and release it, basically. And then finally, we um, Maven talked about this recent work on uh, the Places panel and uh, how he is going to improve on that later. That's it, basically. Thank you, Elvis. Uh, Carl ran the website BOF, so I'd like to call on Carl to say something. So I uh, did the website BOF. We spoke about uh, the current state of the websites. So we have a lot of websites within uh, multiple technologies and multiple uh, uh, teams. And um, yeah. And then we move it to the um, uh, one of the first things I need to do. Uh, it's uh, moving away from the, cap the capacity framework. 
Also jetzt äh, Olf Framework von äh, was ist äh, maintaining all the website von der äh, KDE. And then we spoke about the, some of the problematics, for example, the translations, because we need to capacity for the translation of the website, and we need to find another solutions. Okay, and that's it, mostly. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. You do amazing work for us. Kai, this is a notification. Respond to the notification. Oh. <laughs> K notifications with Kai. So we brainstormed ideas on how to fix the history because I'm well aware it's not idea right now. So stop sending me back reports about it. Uh, we also uh, brainstormed ideas for a new K notification class with fewer dependencies and platform plugins and stuff like that, and also less surprises in using the APIs, which leads to bugs and crashes. And of course, the notes are linked on the wiki page. Good show. The next four boffs in that room were Plasma, 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 and Plasma, so I'd like to call on Bushan, who... <laughs> Let's delegate to Dave. Hey, Dave. Everything was cleverly split into independent modules. The first discussion was system settings, where we discussed system settings. Topics included dealing with the legacy modules, which we decided we would fix it, how to integrate plasma settings and general system settings, and we decided we would fix it, A cons inconsistency in list views, and we decided we would fix it, and then we had a big heated discussion about instant apply, where we didn't decide anything, yes. where we said we would fix it. <laughs> yes, if only it was that simple. Bushin. Uh, we, we, we kind of decided that uh, it would be tried as a pilot on uh, some uh, modules, probably. Um, how actually ship to that to the users and communicate that to the user without having an inconsistent, inconsistent thing for a long time, that is a problem that still needs to be decided. And there are notes on the wiki. Bushan. So uh, we had the plasma mobile buff from the at 11:30, and we discussed. I mean, like lots of topic, and we actually eventually ran out of time. <laughs> so there is a possibility that we might organize another buff on the Thursdays to get rid of uh, remaining topics. But mostly we discussed about how to reach out to more developers and how to improve the current state of the Plasma Mobile and how to, how to make sure our website is up to its standard and things like that. Uh, we have not added notes in the wiki page. We have. We have. <laughs> Um, and com after that, uh, we had this walk about Plasma on your toaster devices, which was kind of lie. Uh, plasma will never run on your toaster. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we discussed about uh, having KD Plasma or KD technology on this specific set of embedded or IoT specific like devices, and we also seen a demo of uh, Plasma Nano Shell by Marco Martin and um, there was some ideas around how this technology should be distributed or how this technology can be better demoed to the interested parties and yeah that's it. Thanks, Bushan. Next up in that room was Neon, the road to 2004. <laughs> Harold, tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong, um, except it's not pronounced 2004, it's 2004. 
Um, so we looked at the possibility of the very likely an entirely feasible possibility of us moving to an Ubuntu 2004 base when it comes out, which will be in 2020, hence the 20. Um, fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, the last time around we figured out a really good process. So we basically made a list of all the stuff that we need to do and it's going to be awesome and should be much faster than last time. Thank you. There was a GPG signing thing run by Harold. It went well. We mumbled numbers at each other. It was great fun. You should join next year. 2004. <laughs> oh, all right. Moving on to the next room in the morning, there was the KDE India boff. Who would uh, so KDE India boff was mostly about the why we were not able to host uh, Confcading for last two years and uh, how to make the next Confcading actual possibility and real, uh, reality. So we agreed that we have one when uh, we have two possible venues and we should try and see if uh, we can get confirmation from one venue by October month and if it doesn't happen we should move on to second venue and try try and make this possible for at least 2020 because for 2019 it's kind of slightly overlaid and uh, we also discussed about web, our website and our conference website and I think we I need to consult to Carl about this <laughs> our new website so yes i think it was mostly about the uh, next to the conference of in either 2019 very end or 2020 yeah okay bringing your kde applications to more interesting places the kde windows and mac sorry kde craft boff with hana Uh, yeah, we um, I demonstrated how Craft can be used and um, how easy it is to bring your application to Windows if you've done your application right, and how you can get it into the store later on. So that was basically everything. Thank you. And still connecting up all the bits is the KDE Connect boff. <laughs> we were discussing how we can make KD Connect even more amazing and first of all the first step to this is to actually make a release with all the awesome stuff we've piled up. For this we resolved a blocking bug and now we can make a new release soon. And next we were discussing some issues sadly with the latest Android version clipboard access is broken because of some Android privacy policy and we were thinking about ways how to make the feature still work but unfortunately we don't have a really good solution. Next we are talking about a strategy for making a first official release of KDE Connect on Windows and on Mac OS so those users can enjoy our awesomeness too. Then we discussed some refinements to the features we have, particularly with the notification plugin. And last we discussed how to tackle a certain privacy issue that we have in KD Connect so we can fulfill our goal of achieving privacy for our users, but unfortunately we don't have a very good solution yet, but we have some ideas that might be worth considering. Thank you. In the last room, it was hacking all day, and I didn't achieve anything, but other people may have. So anyone want to talk about their hacking experience? <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Two different bits. Uh, I was working with the post market OS team for running for the issues which are basically 
kind of blocking plasma while on the pine phone and we basically made a list of various small issues and large issues and tried to see what is the pro pro possible solutions for it and yeah and i think it was quite successful hacking sessions uh, another bit was also daniel was working on k accounts integration with the k mail and contact and we have now agreed upon creating a new pop tomorrow at 11:30 i think uh, about the online account integration with the whole of the kde applications and the pain points about it so yeah all right spiffy that wraps up the boff wrap up and i'd like to see everyone tomorrow bright and early and don't forget the day trip and remember to link your notes see you tomorrow <laughs>